week with another quick tip of the day. This is going to be just a fast one on, on a posture in the closed guard and not getting your posture broken when you're in somebody's closed guard, okay? So I'm going to be a master with the closed guard here. Before I get in there, let me just show you what I'm going to be doing without him. I'm sitting on my heels and I'm trying to engage my hips forwards like this, see? Like that. I'm driving my hips forwards and I have a strong posture, straight, rigid posture up like this, okay? I'm going to have that and then whenever he pulls me, I'm just going to come up off my heels like this. He's going to be pulling me in with his knees, and I need to match his force by lifting up. Okay? So, this is me. First of all, obviously, I'm sitting on my heels. I have a good posture. I'm engaging my hips. I'm not letting him grip anything, right? I have my elbows in. I'm, I'm making sure he's not grabbing my head or any of that stuff, right? I'm going to, every time he gives me a pull, I come up. Just a little bit. As much as he pulls, that's as much as I'm coming up. Just like that. So if we do this right, if he continues to pull, he's going to do like a sit-up on me, right? Okay? So that's what we want. I don't want, what I don't want is for him to pull me, control my posture, and get me down like this. This is where all the bad stuff happens, right? All the good stuff happens when I'm able to get up and away. Let's say I lean back too far, right? He might come up and try to hip bump. Right? Exactly. So if he does that, as he comes up, I'm just going to raise up off my knees and knock him back down, just like that, okay? He comes up to hip bump sweep, I just raise up, okay? He tries to pull me, I raise up again. <laughs> Same thing, okay? So, good? Yep. Any questions, so. comments? Cool. So, that's how we maintain our posture in the closed guard, guys. And if we're dealing with a gi, we're just making sure we're being diligent about not letting them grab our head or grab our collar. And if they do, making sure that we're breaking those grips right off the bat. Other than that, keep your hips engaged forwards. And it's just like riding a horse coming up whenever they try to pull you in. Do not, real quick, do not overdo it, right? If he tries to trick me, and he pulls just a little bit, and I go, Whoo, and then he pulls again hard, or he hip bumps, he might be able to pull me down, right? That's what I mean when I say match his force, okay? We'll see you again next time, guys. Thanks.